Don Barnes here, Studio One Jumpstart, and we're going to be talking about mono and stereo and how to switch between them quickly and easily in Studio One. So it's a piece of cake. So I have a, a mono track that's sitting here with some voice on it. This just happens to be music, but it could be a voice track as well, which is what I call dual mono. So it's two tracks that have come off of one mic and they're identical. So it could be either. So we have a stereo track, mono track, and then notice all the way to the left, there's a little circle here. This is called channel mode, and that allows you to switch between mono and stereo. And so while I have a mono track here, if I switch this to stereo, when I export, that'll come out in stereo. Or if I bounce, it'll turn this track visually into stereo. So the first thing I'm going to do is just show you the export process that no matter what it looks like here, the export will honor this button. And I'm going to flip them. Well, first I'll just start with the, the original ones and watch this. I'm going to take the active tracks. I'm going to take both of them. And I'll do both tracks, and they should come out and just be exactly as they are right now because the channel mode is matching. There are the two files. I'll take them both, just drag them, drop them right in here. And then you'll notice that this one here, I'll just change it. There, that green one here is the same as the first one, obviously identical. That started, started mono and it stayed mono. So those are the same, those are the same, right? Undo, undo, undo. Now we're back to the originals. Now I'm going to switch these two so that they're inverted. This was a mono track, and now it will turn stereo on the exports, and we just go do the exact same thing, and you'll see both tracks are gonna come out the opposite. So now we have number two and number two here, and I'm gonna take those, drag those, put them down below, and now I have this track, which started mono. This was the top track, and I'm going to change its color just to make it easy for us. When we put them together, now you see it's the opposite. And this track, started stereo and now is mono. It combined them. Now volume wise, they'll be identical. I could switch these back and forth. If I took this track, which is the voice track, I have a stereo voice track. Now this is a dual mono and I switch it back here and I export it. It's gonna be the exact same loudness. Nobody will be able to tell the difference. In music, both those tracks could be different where they have slightly different versions in each track. And then they will sound different as mono, but the total volume will still be the same close enough for, for our purposes here, but that allows you to switch back and forth. Now, all the way back to the beginning, I'll take out all that stuff, we're back to the beginning, this is a mono mono. I also could see it visually if I choose to. I just showed you the export method, but instead, now I'm going to switch them, but instead of exporting them, which will come out, this is stereo, it'll turn this into a stereo track, I can also bounce it. It'd be Command B, Control B. If you have one of my custom toolbars from the VO Jumpstart, it's up there. There's a bounce button. I take this one. It's starting off as a stereo track, dual mono or a stereo. I have the track channel mode set to mono. When that gets bounced, now you're going to see as long as that's the active track, it bounces it to mono. All right. So you can, if you want the visuals the same, to be the same as whatever you have here, bounce it. If you don't care about that, you could simply export this and this track is now going to come out mono and I'll prove that one more time by flipping it, but let's just do the green track by itself. So we have this track, the active track. We're going to, going to go ahead and take the active track and only do the green track, which is inverted. It's starting off stereo. We're gonna to go to mono and then we do that here. We take that and when we bring that in, we're just gonna set it right here. And now it is mono because we switched that to mono and I'm gonna take that track here and just drag it up so you can see it, make it a different color for us, just to make the visuals easier. But these two tracks are the same track, will sound the same, are at the same volume level, and we switch them back and forth, both visually and on the exports. Now there's more to this that's possible because if you're doing multiple tracks and you have things coming in from different people or different recording sessions or different mics, some mics automatically default to, most mics will default to mono, some will default to dual mono in a stereo track, some will do a stereo track where only one of the tracks is actually has some input. You can switch them all, just use this technique here and it'll switch them for you. It's easy, it's clean, Studio One makes it simple, and you just need to know there are other ways to do this because it has some other methods because other, other things come up for people. So I hope you enjoy this quick tip. Check out Studio One Jumpstart. Uh, be sure to join us in the Facebook group if you're not there already. Studio One, narrators, voiceover, you can find us there. We'll have a link below if you're watching this on YouTube. And then, of course, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're watching this on YouTube. We'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.